Hey y'all, Dawson here, and welcome back to Speech Tips with Dawson. Today, we'll be talking about body language. Language is what we use to communicate. It's not only the words we speak, but how we say them. Our intonation, enunciation, speed, and so forth. If I lower my voice a little and put emphasis on certain syllables, you can tell that I'm angry. I'm furious, even. While these verbal cues are great, nonverbal cues are just as effective. You see, back in daycare, my teacher said, and that's when I knew body language was just as effective as verbal communication. Posture is very important to your audience and a huge part of body language. A slouched posture can indicate many things, including, but not limited to, a straight posture, however, with your shoulders back and your chin up can indicate that you're confident and can elicit trust from your audience. Hands are also a very important part of body language. Here is something you should almost never do with your hands. Pockets. Pockets hide your hands, hide your intentions, hide your message. This is a primal fear in humans that someone is hiding something from them. Make sure to keep your hands out with your palms up. If need be, hold them like this. Keeping your hands out helps your audience trust you, helps you fool them. So remember, no matter the situation, keep your back straight, chin up, and hands out. And remember to act like a normal person. Don't act weird, don't do that, don't flail your arms about. People will think you're weird, they'll think you're a freakazoid, and that's just high school all over again. That's all, folks.